Boys and girls, today we are going to be talking about um, adding decimals. So we've talked about adding them with um, visual models and we have been checking them by calculating it, but today we're just going to focus on um, uh, just plain old easy adding decimals. I am going to be looking in your module 10 through 20 book. So if you want to look there with me, we're going to do some problems on page 353. 353. And I'm going to actually skip on down to number 7. But it's okay if you don't have your book because you could just write these on a piece of paper or on your dry erase board or whatever is working well for you. All right. So number 7 on page 353 First, let's practice saying these numbers. Think about how we're supposed to say them. Six and say the whole thing. 89 hundredths because this is our tenths. This is our hundredths. Six and 89 hundredths. Seven and 34 hundredths because you have two digits after the decimal. It's in the hundredths place. Okay. So we're going to be adding those values today. So when we're adding some values, we're finding our sum, S-U-M. You may see that word, and that just means the answer to an addition problem. That is your sum. Okay, so nine hundredths plus four hundredths. Nine. I like to touch my numbers 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It helps me. I, I find four places on that number. It's called touch math, actually. I think I was taught that when I was a little girl, and it stuck with me. <clears throat> so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, you know, just like you've always seen, I only have room for one digit right here. When I'm saying 13 hundredths, actually that's saying I have three hundredths and I have a tenth because I have um, more than nine hundredths. I've got four more. So I've got three hundredths and actually it made a hole so I had to put it over here with my tenths. So then when I add those up, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve tenths. Just like we've seen. If we have twelve tenths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've got a whole group of 10. 10 tenths is going to give us that whole. We're going to have two left over. So that's why we're putting that over there. It's not just a one. It's representing one whole. Just like this was representing one tenth. Then, these are our whole numbers. 7 plus 6 is 13 plus 1 is 14. I have four ones. And 110. That's what 14 means, right? Don't forget your decimals because they are super important. Let's think about if we had not put our decimal there. Let's pretend this is money. $6 plus $7 would be $1,423. Whew, that would not make sense, would it? That would not be reasonable. $6 plus $7. $14. Now that makes sense. We've got to make sure we have that decimal there. When we're adding and subtracting decimals, um, lining them up is very, very helpful. Helps us not forget them. Uh, they're very important. They represent a lot. Okay, so let's go down and do another one. Let's do number eight. So just like I said, we're going to make sure we line up these decimals. Yep. And we're going to practice saying them. How do we say this number? 37 and 9 tenths. Because it's only one digit after the decimal. That 9 is in the tenths place. All right. This, we would say 18 and 2 tenths. We are adding these. Okay. So if we have nine tenths and we add two tenths, we know that nine tenths and two tenths is 11 tenths, just like we showed on the last one. 
10 tenths is going to give us a hole. So we have one left over. We're going to put our one over here. Real quickly, I look at these numbers. You know, you talked about doubles facts since you were in first and second grade, maybe even kindergarten. I look here and I automatically say 7 plus 1 is 8 because I quickly know 8 plus 8 is 16. Look at your numbers in that way. Try to make it as easy for you to calculate that as you can. So 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. Again, I'm in my ones place. So 16 is 6 ones and 1 10, 3, 4, 5, 56, and 1 tenth. Again, we remembered our decimal. That's where that reasonableness comes in that we talked about yesterday, especially with this decimal placement. If we accidentally put our decimal here, hopefully we would say, wait a second, 30 plus 18, that wouldn't be 5. Okay, or 37 and 18, well, that couldn't be 561. So one thing I always want you to try and do when you finish answering a problem is then ask yourself, does it make sense? When especially working with decimals and fractions, sometimes we can eliminate an answer because it does not make any sense. And we need to do that all we can because that's going to help us in the long run. If it doesn't make sense, we're not even going to look at it. So always ask yourself, does what I just say make sense? Does what I just answered make sense? All right, number nine, we're going to write that down. Okay, this one looks a little different. And this one is one that you might could get mixed up on, okay? So you can see in this number that our our value up here only has a tenths. This number goes into the hundredths. So it's super easy to accidentally not line this up correctly. You've got to remember, we've got 100. We have no hundreds in this number. There should not be a digit there. We have three tens, five tens, two ones, eight ones, seven tenths, five tenths. We have no hundredths here. I like to put that zero there as a placeholder because when I add that zero, I have not changed the value of this number. It is still seven tenths. You could say 70 hundredths, but 70 hundredths is equal to seven tenths. It helps it just look a little better, less confusing, but we have not changed the value. As long as we're not changing the value, it's fine. Okay, so now we can add those. Zero and four hundredths is still four hundredths. Seven tenths, five tenths. We know seven and five is 12. Remember, 10 tenths is going to give us a hole, so we're going to stick it over here. We only had those two tenths left over. Don't forget your decimal. 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 11 ones, so we'll put our 1, 1 over here and take that 10 over to the tens place. That's where it belongs. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Tens, we only have 100 still. 191 and 24 hundredths. Okay, now let's look at number 13. After Andrew cleans a fish tank, it has 24.5 liters of water in it. So I'm going to write that down. 24 and 5 tenths liters of water. He uses a container that holds 65 hundredths to add fresh water. How much water is in the tank after he adds two containers? Okay, so our problem told us that he had... 24 and 5 tenths. Then the container holds 65 hundredths liter. Well, he did two containers. So I've got 65 hundredths. And see how I'm having to do that? Because it doesn't have a whole number. And another 65 hundredths. Now, we don't have to add all three at the same time. You could add these two and then add it to that either way. I'm going to put a zero here as a placeholder. Five hundredths and five hundredths is going to give us 
uh, 10. 6, 12. Another 6 is going to be 18. 18 tenths is going to be 8 tenths in one whole. So, right now, and so the answer to the first question for 13 would be 25 and 8 tenths, or 25 and 80 hundredths, however you want to say it. Okay, how much water is in the fish tank if he adds three containers? So, we added one, two. We might as well add one more. Five hundredths and zero hundredths is five. Eight tenths, six tenths is fourteen tenths. So, that's four tenths and one whole. Then we have six, twenty-six, and forty-five hundredths would be your next one. Okay, the fish tank holds 30 liters. How many containers of water could he add without overfilling? All right, so we've already added one, two, three, and we're at 26 and 45 hundredths. So we need to see how many more he could add. So I don't have enough board for that. 26, 45. So we're at 26. 45 and we've added 3 so I'm going to just keep adding 65 right yes so this will be 4 so that's 10 11 okay I'm gonna add another one because we can get to 30 we're doing this a little bit quicker we're still not at 30 so this will be my sixth one, 10, 14, ah. all right, let's see if we can add another one in here, 29.05, that was seven, how many more do you think we can add? So we've got 29.05, let's squeeze her in over here, 29 and five hundredths. Another 65. I know that's going to be 70. That was 8. Can I add another 65? No, I know that that would be over 30. So I can add 8 more containers of water. And that is our adding decimals lesson.